We continue now at the top of Daf Tzadi Tesam and Aleph and Meseches Baba Basra. This is Baba Basra Daf 99A. And the previous summer, Rabbi Chanina had a contradiction in Psukim. How high was the Beis Hamikdash? One Pasuk says that it was 20 Amos high. The other Pasuk says it was 30 Amos high. And Rabbi Chanina answers when it says 20 Amos high, it means from the top of the Kruvim, because the Kruvim were 10 Amos high. And the Gemara says, what is that teaching us? Hakamash Molon, it teaches us, Lemato Kilamala, that below is the same as above, meaning to say, Malamala in Meshamish Klum, just like above the Kruvim, there was nothing happening, it was all empty. Aflamata in Meshamish Klum, so too below the Kruvim, there was nothing there, it didn't use up any space at all. And the Rashbam explains, Umeshani Hakamash Molon Lamato Kilamala, Dahani Eser Amosha, Kruvim of Haoron Omdim Bohen, it means that the ten Amos, which the Kruvim and the Yarn were standing within those ten Amos, Kimoha Esrim Shalamala, it's the same as the twenty Amos above them. Maha Esrim Kulan Chalol, just like it was all empty space in the twenty Amos above, Vein Bohen Dover, there was nothing over there, Kach Gamho Esr Vegufa HaKruvim, so too with the ten Amos, the actual Kruvim, Benes Hayu Omdim, they were standing there with a miracle. Kedil Kamon, as we're going to say later on. Umakam ha'aron eno min hamida. We're going to say that the space of the yarn, it didn't count in the measurements. It was as if it took up no space. El b'nei sayomid, it was standing there with a miracle. The kanfei ha'kruvim, and the wings of the kruvim, shehein ba'avir, lo chaitzi, they were in the air. They did not create the separation. To ha'lamato did hu, ulamala did hu, yecholim limdod esrim reikonos mikosol tzafoni lakosol dromi. You'd be able to measure 20, em- 20 amos, empty space, from the northern wall to the southern wall, that's what the Pasuk is saying. The Esrim Amos, when the Pasuk says it was 20 Amos high, Kilomer, what it's saying is, Kol HaShloshem Amos Koma, Einon Chashuvim Elo Esrim, that entire 30 Amos of height, really it only counts like 20 Amos of height. Demisvas Kruvim Ulamala Shem Penuyim Miklum, because from the top of the Kruvim up, which is completely empty, Ha Esr Kamo HaChav, that 10 is the same as the 20, essentially, the Gemara here is saying that they took up no space. And the Gemara Mara continues along these lines. Messiah Leila Rabbi Levi. This is a support to what Rabbi Levi said. It's Yomar Rabbi Levi, because Rabbi Levi said, Vitaim Rabbi Yochanan, some say Rabbi Yochanan said, Dovrzem Mesores Biodeno Meavoseno. This is a tradition in our hands from our fathers. Makom Aron Ukruvim, the space, the area of the Aron and the Kruvim, Enom and Hamida is not part of the measurement. Again, it's as if it took up no space. And the Gemara continues, Tanya Nami Hachri of a Brisa like this as well. Aron Sha'asa Moshe, the Aron that Moshe made, Yeshlo Revach Eser Amos Lachol Ruach Veruach. It had a space of ten Amos in every direction. And the Rashbam explains, Aron Sha'asa Moshe, Kishinitan Bebeis Kotche HaKadoshim, when it was placed in the Kodesh Kadoshim, Sha'asa Shlomo, which Shlomo HaMelech made, the first base on Migdosh, Shu Chaf Al Chaf, in that area was twenty by twenty, Yeshlo Eser Amos Revach Lachol Ruach Veruach. You can measure ten Amos in every direction, Liamino Velismolo, to the right, to the left, Hare Esrim and below Aron, meaning to say it was 20 Amos without the Aron. Well, the fun of Chafad had Dvir, and in front of it was 20 until the Dvir, and the point is again, it took up no space. That's why you were able to make those measurements. And the Gemara continues, Amar Rav Noy, Amar Shmuel, Rav Noy says that Shmuel says, Kruvim b'nei seinomdin, the Kruvim, they stood in a miraculous fashion. Shanemar, as it says in the Pasuk, V'chomesh amos knaf hakruv ha'achas, it says that the wing of one Kruv was five amos, V'chomesh amos knaf hakruv ha'shenis, and five amos was the wing of the second Kruv, Eser amos miktsos knafav, v'yad kitsos knafav. It was ten amos from one end of the wing to the other end of the wing. And so the Gemara says, Gufayu hecha havakaymi, so the body of the Kruv, the bodies of the Kruv, how were they? They able to stand El Shmamina, rather you see from this Bineis Hainomdin that they stood in this miraculous fashion. And the Rashbam explains Knafa Kruva Echod, meaning Knafa Echod Shell Kruv, Vehe Amos, Knafa Sheni Shell Oso Kruv. What it actually means is, is the wing, each Kruv had two wings, and each of the wings was five Amos. So each Kruv had a total amount of wing space of ten Amos. The Lav Kruv Sheni Kamayr, even though the Gemara sounds like it's talking about the second Kruv, it really means to say the second wing of the Kruv. Dachsib Basre Vieser Biyama Hakruva Sheni, that's what it says later on in the Pasuk. Vieser Amos Mixos Knafa Vakxos Knafa, Mehachalom Afkin on Divinais Hoya Hagov. Now the Rashbam points out when it says that it was ten amos from one wing to the other, that's not that's not where we derive that the body of the Kruv was miraculous. because it was between the two wings. Because you could say that from the end of one wing to the other is only ten amos, and so the whole span is ten amos. You'll say where's the body? It was no space for the body. That's the miracle. But the Rashbam says you can't say that way. You can't say that that's what we're learning out. 
that it's standing in a miraculous fashion. Because if that were the case, the question later on, the Gemara is going to ask some questions on this further on, wouldn't make sense because the Gemara is going to ask, Vedilma Beisa Me Eloi Ravach. The Gemara is going to say, well, maybe it got a little wider as it went up. Vekushis Acheros, and the Gemara is going to ask some other questions. Delo Shaychi Hachaklal. You wouldn't be able to ask those questions if the question just was on the size of the Kruv, that from one end of the wing to the other is Ten Amos. How does the body fit in Ten Amos? Rather, the Pasuk, the Gemara's understanding as follows. If you're going to put the two wings of the Kruv one next to the other, so it's going to be again from one end to the other. It's going to be Ten Amos. Now, it certainly was more than Ten Amos. Because you have the body of the Kruv between the two wings. But the question of the Gemara is as follows. Because the width of the Kadshe Kadashim from the north to the south, that was a total of 20 Amos. Now, the two Kruvim, because there were two Kruvim in the Kadshe Kadashim, the wings alone would be 20, forgetting about the bodies. Like we just said, the two wings are 10 Amos. It says the wings touch the walls. That's what the Gemara is saying. It was miraculous because the bodies of the Kruvim now have no room because it's only 20 Amos wide, the entire Kadshe Kadoshim. But the Gemara continues, Maskiflo Abaya Abaya asks the following question, Vidilma Bolton Katarna Golden Havakaimi, but maybe the wings on the Kruvim, they were sticking up like on chickens, meaning to say the wings came up from right of the middle, in the middle of the Kruv, and then it went outward, and then it would not be a question at all how it was able to fit within 20 Amos, because it's not essentially taking up any extra space. And the Gemara continues along the same lines, Maskiflo Rava Rava asks, Vidilma Zeh Shalokanegad Zeh Havakaimi, maybe Maybe the two Kruvim weren't actually right next to one another, so that would answer the problem. It wouldn't necessarily have to be miraculous. Maskevla Rav Achabar Yaakov, Rav Achabar Yaakov asks, Vedilma Balach Sona Havakaimi, maybe they were standing diagonally. Again, that would mean it did not have to necessarily be miraculous. Maskevla Rav Huna Bred Rav Yoshua, and Rav Huna Bred Rav Yoshua asks, Vedilma Besa Meiloi Ravach, maybe the Besa Mikdash was a little wider at the top, it got wider as it went up, so it was 20 Amos near the bottom, but there was enough space at the top, it didn't necessarily have to be a miracle. Miracle. Maybe they bent their hands, meaning their wings a little bit. And again, it didn't necessarily have to be a miracle. And finally, the Gemara asks, Ravashi. Ravashi asks, Maybe the wings were crossed over with one another. So again, it did not necessarily have to be in a miraculous fashion. And the Gemara continues, How were the Kruvim in the Kod Kadoshim? How were they standing? Rabbi Yochanan Rabbi Lozer. It's machlokas between Rabbi Yochanan and Rabbi Lozer. If one said they faced each other, the other one said they faced the base on Mikdash. Well, and the Gemara says, according to the one who says that they faced one another, there's a pasuk that says that they faced the base on Mikdash. The Gemara says, Lokash, it's not difficult. They faced each other. If Klal Yisrael was doing what was good in the eyes of Akadosh Baruch Hu, but if Klal Yisrael was not doing the will of Akadosh Baruch Hu, so then they did not face one another. And the Gemara continues. According to the one who says that they faced the base on Mikdash, Ish Elochiv, it says they faced each other in the Pasuk. And the Gemara answers to that, the Mitzadadei at Stude, you can say that they were angled sideways, and so that's how they could be facing both each other and towards the base on Mikdash. And the Gemara says, the Tanya, as we learned in a Brai, so Unkelis Hager Omar, Unkelis the convert said, Kruvim Masei Tzatsuim Hain, the Kruvim they had the faces of children, Umitsudodim Peneyem Ketalmed Hanifter Me Rabo, and they were angled sideways like a student who is leaving. From his Rebbe. And the Gemara continues with the Mishnah Misha Yeshlo Bor Lifnim Mi Beso Shal If somebody has a cistern and it's beyond the house of his friend, meaning he needs to go through his friend, friend's property in order to access his bor. So Nichnas Bisha Shaderach Bene Adam Nichnasin, Viyotze Bisha Shaderach Bene Adam Yotzin. We're talking where he has permission to go through that property, but he should enter at a time that people generally enter, and he should exit at a time that people generally exit. Vieno Machnas Behemto Mashkimi Boro. Also, he cannot bring his animal in to give his animal to drink from the pit. Elamim Rather, he has to fill up water and bring it outside, bring it to his animal. And finally, the Mishnah says, Veze osolo posachas, veze osolo posachas. This one can make a lock, and the other one as well can make a lock, meaning the owner of the boar can make a lock for himself, and the owner of the house as well can make a lock. 
And the Gemara says, Posachas lahechel. Well, what's the point of making this this lock? What is the lock preventing you from entering? Amr Rabbi Yochanan, Rabbi Yochanan says, Shnehem labor. We're talking about making a lock for accessing the cistern. So the Gemara says, Bishlam abal habor. Now I understand why the owner of the cistern would want to have a lock. Boy lishtamure maya debor. He wants to protect the water that's in his cistern, so he has a lock, so he can be the only one that can access it. El abalabayis lamale, but the balabayis, the owner of the house, what does he need to make a lock to the bore for? And the Gemara says, Amr Rabbi Lazar, Rabbi Lazar says, and we will continue with this discussion in the next video on Daftzadi Tess Amid Base.